Okay, so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to be testing my Alive Core, well, my Cardio Band, the brand is now, um, that I've attached to my Apple Watch for taking my ECG. So at the moment, uh, using the uh, Alive Core sensor, which was I've put on the back of my iPhone, um, if I needed to take an ECG at the moment uh, on a mobile basis, I would uh, unlock the phone, open the app, tap on the app to start recording um, so obviously in terms of uh, there's a few steps there but it's uh, maybe not as discreet you might want to take an ECG because you're feeling uncomfortable in a meeting or you just want to you know for, for whatever reason um, you don't want to have to bring the phone out for example and open the app on the phone so let's see how this works in practice then so uh, installation was fairly easy um, and then it's a case of opening this, so pressing this button here. Let me just the exposure so it's a little bit easier for you to read there. Um, and let's see. So now then I just tap here and it should say, uh, I just tap on record ECG. Hold the thumb on the sensor for 35 seconds. So I just hold like that. And um, so, so you see when I'm talking, so it's actually uh, recording my voice there. So if I'm, I've said I've just had two cups of strong coffee, um, and I haven't, I've slept well, um, and um, it's raining, whatever I want to say, I'm feeling stressed, etc., etc. Then it's capturing that along with my actual ECG recording. Again, just holding that there with my forearms flat on the desk. And that should finish in a few seconds. Let's see what it says. So now, uh, if I just click save, it's now saving it. Okay, no ab abnormalities were found in your EKG, which is good news. Now I can actually look through, see through the reading just by swiping on the surface of my watch. If I actually go into, if I actually go back into here and I, so you can see previous EKGs, but if for example on this one I tap and then I use force touch, I come up with a couple of options here. So play audio just to show you that it's, it's quite faint, but you see the picture there that it's got that audio. And then obviously I can do another thing, which is I can just choose to delete it from the watch itself. Um, I think my understanding at the moment is that it needs the, it's paired obviously by the phone to Bluetooth as in the watch is. So I don't think at the moment the the Apple Watch can just independently without having an iPhone near, or the phone nearby um, transmit the EKG back up to the cloud and, and obviously um, without having the phone nearby. So um, that's a stumbling block in terms of just how mobile this technology is. But obviously it's a step forward because, again, like I said, you could be sitting in a meeting. You don't want people to know that you have, um, uh, your, that you're um, at risk of, uh, you know, uh, abnormal heart rhythm and, and you just want to be able to discreetly check as and when um, you feel certain symptoms. So um, interesting to see the technologies moved on. Um, and um, what would you like to see next? I was just cu I'm curious because what would be the how would, would this technology evolve in your eyes over the next five years? Thanks for watching. Bye for now.